video, we will be looking at social work practice placements. What is social work practice placements? Social work practice placement is gaining practical work experience in the social work field whilst you're studying on a social work programme. If you're studying for a Bachelor of Arts degree in social work or a Bachelor of Science degree in social work or a Master's in social work, you will be expected to undertake a total of 170 days of practice placement. Your first placement is usually 70 days and your final placement will be 100 days. If you are studying the degree programme, which is three years, you will undertake practice placements in your second and third year. If you're studying the Masters in Social Work, which is two years, then you will undertake practice placements in your first and second year. Your university will be responsible for matching you with the appropriate social work placement. Before the university matches you with a placement, they will ask you to complete a form which allows you the opportunity to state any preferences that you may have that you would like the university to take into consideration when matching you to a suitable placement. For example, you may want to state which client group you want to work with, so you have the opportunity to state your preference. Please note that although the university gives you the opportunity to state your preferences, there is no guarantee that you will be offered a placement that you expressed a preference for. Remember that when you are doing your social work placement, all students on the social work programme will also be doing their placements at the same time. So if everyone states a preference for the same type of placement, there will be a higher demand for it and there will, be, there will not be enough um, of that type of placement for everyone who requests for it. Usually, if your first placement was with adults or in an adults setting, then ideally the university should offer you a placement in children and families in your final placement or a different client group to your first placement. So you should gain experience working with different client groups. For your practice placement, you could gain social work practice placement experience in a local authority, in a council, in a private and voluntary sectors, independent sectors and charitable organisations. Your placement could be working in children and families social work team, in an adults social work team, mental health team, you could be working in a care home, you could be working in an independent fostering agency, you could be working in housing with, hope, with, with a homeless team, you could be working with victim support, you could be working with the NHS in schools, mental health organisations, private or voluntary sectors, carers organisations, you could work in prisons or youth offending teams. Your practice placement is a very important part of the course because it prepares and equips you to practice as a social worker once you're qualified. The placement opportunity gives you insight into what social work really entails and it can also help you to decide whether social work really is for you or not. Before you start your 70 days or your 100 days placement, your university will assign you with a named practice educator. Your practice educator's role will be to support you in your placement. Usually before you start your placement, you will have the opportunity to meet with your practice educator. You may have an informal interview with your practice educator and you will meet them prior to starting your placement. The practice educator's role is to support you in your placement and they will be your point of contact. Your practice educator will be a qualified social worker and they will be listed on the Social Work England's register. At the start of the placement, your practice educator will put together a placement agreement. The placement agreement will set out expectations for both you and the practice educator 
and what to do if there are any issues or difficulties that cannot be resolved between the student and the practice educator. As a student on placement, you will have what we call a midway review. Your practice educator will complete your midway review report in preparation for your midway review meeting. Usually the practice educator, the student, as well as a representative from your university should be present at this meeting. If there are any concerns regarding the placement or concerns regarding performance, it would need to be formally addressed in this meeting and any action plans for improvement should be addressed in this meeting also. Your practice educator will also be responsible for completing your final placement report. And in that report, your practice educator will recommend a pass or a failure. There should be nothing in your final report that should come to you as a surprise. So if someone is doing really well throughout the placement, they will surely know about it. If your practice educator commends your work, you get good feedback, you've done your direct observations, everything's positive, then you shouldn't expect anything other than a pass. If there are any concerns in the placement, such as concerns with performance, conduct, then this should be discussed and addressed throughout the placement. So nothing in your final report should come as a huge surprise. I hope I'm making sense. If there are any problems or any difficulties between you and your practice educator that you feel cannot be resolved between the two of you and you feel that it's impacting on your placement, then please follow your university's protocol in how to escalate and to address it. You may wish to speak to your course tutor or the practice development lead within the organisation that you're doing your placement in. Please do not suffer in silence. During your placement, you will be expected to complete a portfolio with a variety of assignments and reflective logs as part of your placement. Usually your practice placement experience determines how you start out in social work. It determines where you end up working or the area you end up specialising in. If, for example, both of your placements happen to be with children and families, for example, then by default, you end up working in the area of children and families because that's all you know, that's the experience you are exposed to. Hence why I say it's important that universities provide students the opportunity to do their placements with different client groups. So here are just a few tips for you to enable you to thrive in your practice placements. It is understandable that you are a student doing placement and you want to learn, you want to gain social work experience and the placement is meant to provide you with the practical experience and the tools on the field. However, remember that you are in a professional setting, trying to gain professional experience. It's equally important that you show proactiveness, a willingness to learn, willing to get your hands dirty and really delve into things. Offer to assist your colleagues, show that you want to be there. Your attitude, your communication, your commitment and how you come across to people is so very important. And I'm speaking to you as a practice educator, so do take it from me. If you have a good attitude to work and a positive attitude and you are a hard working person, then you are halfway there. Thank you so much for watching me. I do hope that you've benefited from this video. Please support my channel by subscribing, liking and sharing my videos. Please hit the notification bell so that you never miss any of my videos. Stay blessed and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.